This introduction to the salivary glands was created by Head and Neck Cancer Australia for the benefit of patients and families affected by salivary gland cancer. The salivary glands are responsible for making and releasing a fluid called saliva, or spit. Saliva is important for keeping the mouth moist and lubricated, which makes it easier to chew and swallow food. Saliva also keeps the mouth clean, helps to taste your food, protect the teeth from decay, and contains enzymes to digest food. There are three main salivary glands, the parotid, submandibular, and sublingual glands. There are two of each, one on each side. There are also hundreds of much smaller minor salivary glands that are spread throughout the lining of the mouth and throat. The parotid gland is the largest salivary gland and where most salivary gland tumours grow. The nerve that controls the facial muscles, called the facial nerve, runs through the parotid gland. This nerve makes you smile, frown, close your eyes and raise your eyebrows. Fortunately, most parotid tumours are not cancerous. The parotid glands also contain lymph nodes. Sometimes skin cancers, such as squamous cell carcinomas and melanomas, can spread to the lymph nodes in the parotid glands. Lymph nodes are bean-shaped glands in the neck that are part of the immune system's defence against infection. Three important nerves are found next to submandibular glands. These give movement, feeling and taste to the tongue and move the lower lip. Sublingual glands are the smallest of the major salivary glands and rarely develop tumours, but when they do, they are often cancerous. Cancer that begins in any of the salivary glands is called salivary gland cancer. If cancer develops in a salivary gland, this can cause a lump in front of the ears, under the jawbone, inside the mouth or in the neck. Sometimes they can cause facial weakness, numbness or pain. Sometimes it may become difficult to open the mouth fully. Most often these symptoms are not from salivary gland cancer. However, if you have any of these symptoms for more than a few weeks, talk to your doctor so that problems can be diagnosed and treated as early as possible. Salivary gland cancers are generally treated with surgery. Many patients receive a combination of treatments, including radiation therapy. Depending on the size and the location of the cancer, your specialist will suggest treatment options that are suitable for you.